Hi Blast Tube, it's Janet, Janet with Janet Jabber. I'm coming at you with episode 49. Um, if you're new to this channel, this is a channel about cross stitch. Um, please sit back, relax, enjoy. I hope you like what you see. Um, and if you do, subscribe, like, uh, interact with me in the comments, do all the things. If you are um, a returning follower, uh, Friend, thank you so much for stopping by and spending more time with me today. I appreciate it um, so much, so much. So, um, tiny little bit of updates and then we'll get into the normal. Um, so, you notice I'm back in my room. Uh, so, I'll have pictures of that at the very, very end for people that are interested. And um, <clears throat> this weekend, uh, my husband and I uh, shucked uh, five dozen corn and uh, prepped them and froze them and uh, you know did the blanching and the cutting off the cobs and all the things so that um, I'm ready for winter. So I'm pretty excited about that. Uh, it's the sweetest corn I've ever had in my life. And uh, we drove an hour and a half to go get it. So that's how much we love it. <laughs> Um, so that was kind of it for the weekend. I'm telling you, these weekends are wearing me out. We do more work <laughs> than uh, sometimes I do at work, I feel like. Uh, we're just dog tired by the end of it. So, And more to come because I um, am redoing uh, my living room floor next. So there's that. Um, but uh, other than that, kids are doing good and school got started. We have one week under our belt and getting back to the new routine and all the things. So... Um, other than that, let's jump into stitching because that's what you're here for. All right, I have one finish. Um, I've been doing good on finishes lately, haven't I? Huh? So, what I have here is a spot of autumn. This is a drawn thread, a uh, little one. The empty spot you see there is for a charm. I don't have the charm. Um, I'll, I'll get them when I get all four finished. I have one more in this series to finish. And, uh, and it's super fun. So the reason I did these smalls is because they're specialty threads. So yeah, I have the typical back stitching, but there's Lazy Daisies, there's Satin Stitches, and there's a Simra. I don't know what that one's called. But I enjoy doing them. I, I have big charts of drawn threads to do, and I was intimidated, so uh, I, I bought a few small ones um, to jump in and try that. So. That is that is my finish. Um, other than that, I don't have any FFOs this week, which are fully finished objects. So we're going to jump into my whips, which are works in progress. So um, these are just kind of random. Well, I always start out with my One Nation for you guys, uh, unless I have a daily stitch. I did not figure out my daily stitch for this week, and I'll jump to that in the end. I mean, I stitch every day, but I usually concentrate on one. Um, I have... I'll get into that when I show you the things. Let me just show you. Uh, One Nation, One Nation Sal, jump in. I have had a, a couple more people comment that they're doing this. It is um, one star, one state a week. So I got Kansas this week. One more star there and Kansas. And a couple motifs and started on the border. So this is what it's looking like. Super excited. I look like I'm peeking over. But it's lovely, lovely, lovely. Um, I noticed when I held my hands up for showing you this, uh, last week I talked about my nails. A few of you have tried those before and um, I put mine through the ringer this week. So um, they're, I mean, there's still paint on them, but it probably needs to come off, let's be honest. So uh, shucking corn and doing the, doing the things. All right, my second one, which I have given quite a bit of love to this week is uh, Nora Corbett's Daisy. And this is what it will look like. It is stitched on 28 count antique white Joblin. And basically, look at that dress. Last you saw her, I had the upper torso done and the wings and the shawl, and I have been busting out that dress. I love her. She's gonna be a beauty. And I think she'll look really cute in this room to hang her up. <laughs> so next on um, 
Laura, look up because we're both stitching the, this series. But this is one that I found on, uh, it's a free chart called Beach Scenes from the World of Stitches. And I'm working on the umbrella. My darling friend Laura is stitching the um, hut. And she said she didn't know what I was stitching on in her video this week. Uh, I just have a 28 white Lugana. So I got most of the umbrella done. <clears throat> the sun, my umbrella doesn't line up. I don't care. It's like the focus of... I just wanted to do some fun beachy stitching since I'm not going anywhere anytime soon. Um, my next one is the Fantastic Fungi, the, the charts that I call my mushroom charts. <laughs> so this is where I'm at. I honestly did not rewatch my video to see where I showed you last time, but I know this last couple of days I did these mushrooms. And these bottoms of these, so I'm ready to do, these are super long ones, so. Um, I love in the color. This is on a, a Mystery Bestitch Me Fabric 14 count. I think it's a perfect color for this one. So, there. I'm whipping right through these today. My next one is Positivity Rules by um, Caterpillar Cross Stitch. Another Bestitch Me. It's a 22 count Ada um, Mystery Blue. And I finally, if you can imagine this, patience down is part one. We have part two and three. Part four will come out later this month. Um, so all of part one's done, part of part two's done, and I'm just moving along. But love it. I, I told you that both of those, the trick for me I, last week was um, I enlarged the chart and um, it has made all the difference in the world for me to be able to enjoy stitching them. So my next one is a new start um, that uh, I'm doing the series in. This is the Lizzie Kate Season Series. I have Spring and Summer and I am working on Autumn. This is again on a Bee Stitch Me 16 count Gold Rush Ada. And I have just this little bit here in the center done. Um, there's gonna be a black crow on top of that. So um, I just got started, like worked on it for like an hour last night. So, all right, my next one was also a new start this week, I believe, since I seen you last, yeah. So I told you I was gonna work on this, and this has been the one that I have worked on every single day. This is a given, a giveaway, or a swap, um, is that what you call it? An exchange. Um, I belong to the Stitcher's Coveting group. I don't really, I'm not as active as I probably should be. I'm not as active in a lot of the groups as I should be. Um, but anyway, this is what it's supposed to look like, and it's Queen of the Night. Again, this is for, remember I told you I'm doing the alphabet soup for semi-sane, and this is the Q, so, um, and it just kind of fit in for this uh, exchange that I need to do. So I am not going to stitch the border all around it, um, but this is where I'm at on it. So all of the black is done, and I, um, I just picked, this is a random scrap piece of paper, uh, paper fabric, Pretty sure it's 28 count. Um, and then I randomly chose colors that I'm gonna do. So there's this like gold, you can't really see it, this goldish color, and then there's gonna be an orange, and then that's done. So just three colors. But it's super cute, super, super cute. And then hopefully I can get that knocked out. It's gotta be in the mail by the 14th of September, so. That's my stitching for the week. I'm telling you, I blow right through these videos on you guys, um, which is good. So you guys got other people to go watch and see. And I know I've told this tip before, but I'm gonna throw it out there again as a reminder. Um, when I watch Floss Tube, there's three dots in the top corner of the, if I'm watching it on my phone, and if I push the three dots and drops down, and you can speed up your people that you watch. Um, I normally speed everybody up to 1.5 or 1.75, Unless they're like me and I'm already a fast talker, but um, I don't know. I, it lets me get through so many more floss tubers, so that's kind of how I how I do it. So um, the next thing I have is a little bit of haul and a um, uh, little bit of things to talk to you about. So and one of them is a, a little bit of a sad story, but um, an amazing person. So I want to share the story. So. All right, my Be Stitch Me haul came in. So I had placed an order. Normally, I've only ever done Friday Night Fight Nights. 
and um, and I love it. And that's actually one of these. This is a, I, I won this on a Friday night fight night. This is a 25 count Lugana Opal and it is called Phoenix. Look at that. Gorgeous, gorgeous. Um, yeah, yeah. <laughs> so uh, I'm gonna give you, tell you a little bit about these fabrics and show them to you. This is Dirty Chalk and I am doing Kathy, um, Hands on Designs, Kathy Haberman. Um, I wanted to test this out because I don't have much luck with chalks and I just knew Brandy would knock it out of the park. So here you go, of course she did. So this is an 18 count Ada and um, the new series called Chalk Talk, that's what I'm uh, looking at. So I'll be ordering probably, I not probably, I will be ordering at least three more cuts of this, possibly more because I haven't even stitched on it and I already know that I can see the squares. It's a big thing. So uh, my next piece is called Lemon and it's a 22 count Ada. And this is for that Tempting Tangles, um, something sunrise, you can't, this is not showing the color at all. This is the most beautiful yellow. That's not even really true to it, but it's better than nothing. So, um, I forget the name of it. It's Tempting Tangles is who's doing the stitch along. It starts um, this week, I think, the 19th. So I'm ready for that now. And the next one, I didn't know, remember I told you I was gonna dye a piece of fabric for my Mirabilia? I didn't have time for it. Um, I should realize that the weekends really are not mine. I have to do projects, but whatever. Anyway, um, it's just the, the summer vibes. Once fall gets here, I get to do, it's much more chilled. Anyway, I had ordered this one. It's an 18 count Ada, thinking maybe it would work. Oh my gosh, it's beautiful. Um, but it's not, a, the color is too purple for that piece. Um, but I am in love with this purple and I can't wait to find something to stitch on it. So I did something to Brandy that I don't know what she thought about it. I know she watches these sometimes, but I had sent her a message and I'm like, I'm in her neutral club. I'm pretty predictable. Um, these were probably a little wild. I mean, you sign up for what you want to win. So, uh, and one of the things I love so much about Brandy is her big old heart and her kindness that how she just gives back to her community with the giveaways. If you participate in her Friday night fight nights or you buy anything during that week, you she does giveaways on almost every Saturday and you can say me please to them. And I just, I think that's just amazing. I think that that helps the interaction and that's probably uh, helps the love beside and then she has an amazing product. So um, Anyway back to my story. I had sent her a message and I'm like, so I'd like to Buy a gift card and then cash in at the same time And I want a mystery piece of material to come to me. So it just surprised me and she said she sent me a message She said no neutrals. I'm like No, you surprise me. That's what I want completely surprised. Nothing is off limits for you. Please just surprise me and I about cried when I saw this piece of fabric. I'm not even kidding you. I could, not even kidding you. It's an 18 count Ada, so she knows my love. I am an 18 count Ada and a 32 count even weave girl. Um, I'm also a 22 count Ada and 25 count Ada. I just do all the things. Linen scares me, I'm not gonna lie, because of the big old slugs. Look at this. Oh my gosh. I was dying. This is so gorgeous. And then she told me it was like her favorite color. So it's hibiscus. Um, I couldn't have been more happy and more surprised. And it is a gorgeous piece. And I have already sent her the thank yous and I absolutely love it. <laughs> so one other thing she sent me as a little surprise and um, I, I love this. So Brandy started doing silk. I'm trying to open this. And I had ordered one because I love I love her results and the colors are perfect, but there's a but. The color that I ordered, I don't see the piece that I wanted to do for it. It seemed too bright and so I was like, eh, I'll just leave it there. Um, she sent me this and it is perfect. It's like this girl is, oh, she's golden. 
So it is a Midnight Shadows Silk. It will be perfect um, for a piece that I have in mind. I have to know whether I, I gotta buy another one of these. I, have, I haven't even looked at the chart to see how, many, how much floss it takes. So once I do that, I'll decide what I gotta do. The other piece, as you see, I rearranged my room. So I will find it and it is gonna be in a giveaway for you so someone else can share the love of some silk from Brandy at Be Stitch Me. So super, super excited about that fabric haul. I think that took me almost longer than my stitching to tell you about. But one other thing, I had been on a wait list for, and you're gonna hear a tiny bit of crinkle crinkle, sorry. I had been on a wait list at Crazy Annie's for this finishing kit. Um, I didn't get in on, on time. I've seen other floss tubers talk about it. I'm not gonna be able to get it all out without losing things. But it is a Lady Dot Creates finishing kit. So this one is called Smooth Purple Jazz. And you got this piece of fabric, some cute trims. And from what I hear, you can get more than one finish out of all these things. She has, um, I'm trying not to make a total mess. Oops. Um, there's a couple buttons in here and this little pen stick for like, you know how people stick them in pillows? Boop. Then there is a few of these little things, gadgets. Oh, I'm covering it up. I'm not doing good on that. That you'll see people stick in pillows. But this is the part that I'm confused about. I'm not even going to fib to you. I don't know what this is. If anybody knows what this is, please comment. Um, I mean, it kind of looks like tweezers. It has this thing. I mean, to me, it looks like tweezers. But I don't, I don't know what I would do with it. See? And then... Maybe it's just a doodad that just lays around with it. I don't know. If you have a clue... Comment below, because this girl needs some help on what it is I'm supposed to do with that. <laughs> all right, I don't want to make it all squinkly. I want to put those few tiny pieces that I'll, I'll lose if I don't. And then the rest I can package up later. All right, now I need your help. <laughs> so, I'm moving on to plans and help and, and a little bit of story time. Um... Help is cinnamon stars. I told you that I thought this was gonna be my daily stitch. Well, here is my cinnamon stars, okay? I extended the roof on the wings, these roofs over here, and then I did the line down and it called for, I don't know what color it called for. It, it almost matched my Fabric, so I, I feel like I went through and I googled the hashtag and it looked great, but um, and, and although some of them had lighter and they just outlined it, but I, I'm gonna so that's I don't I, I have to change the color on this, so that's Kind of the help if you got any suggestions throw it out there uh, in the next couple days because uh, I will be this is called toasted coconut and this is not showing a very good color, but I think I, I want it to still be like white-ish like the original, but it's gonna have to be a little bit darker of a white-ish, so, um, with some variegation, so. Anyway, that's all my so's, so, so, so. All right, so here's the part of the story that is a little bit sad, and I'm gonna try to do this quick and wrap it up. So, um, if you've been with me for a while, you know that I have been stitching for 20 years. My first, um, thing into stitching what I was had just had my daughter and I needed something to do out on maternity leave I'm, I was used to being a go-go-go person so my sister introduced me into the Hoosier stitchers which was a Yahoo group at the time well I know my daughter was still in a car seat like little like under six weeks little and the Hoosier stitchers were having an event at this wonderful lady named Cece she's Cece and it was probably about a 40 minute drive from my house so we went she opened her house up to all these ladies that came in and just sat and stitched for the day and ate you know did the whole crock pot meal and whatnot um cc was a very strong powerful woman she um was a force to be reckoned with and a 
very skilled stitcher. She did the hard danger. She did pieces that are gorgeous. And I am saying did. 10 years ago, Cece passed away. And um, of course, it was very, very sad. Well, fast forward 10 years and I went to my stitching store this week and her husband has since decided to remarry and the new spouse didn't want her stuff just to go to Goodwill or whatnot. So she brought it to the local store. And they reached out to me when I had came in that day and wanted me to look through her thing. So one of the, I'm gonna show you a couple things in regards to CC. Gabby, stop, please, please. Um, if you've never seen something like this before, CC t um, taught a class on how to make envelopes that you truly mailed. This is a kit. I have actually done this before to a um, my sister and a dear friend. So this I had to have when I saw there was one of the kits left. Now I just want to show you a couple pieces of her stuff that, um, now the local guild also came through and went through her stuff because um, she was part of that group. But I have to do something with this. This is of course Hardanger and I am not skilled in that. But it has a big C in the middle of it for her. She's cut out those couple spots in the middle. I know for a fact all of these are supposed to be cut out. I think I would, I couldn't do it. But I, I can see this being like somehow around a basket or something and it would be gorgeous. So um, I would love to have the courage to cut those out for the hard danger, but I would be devastated if something happened to it. So yeah. Um, and then another piece, I'm gonna show you, cause the chart was there and I would, love graciously to do this but uh, this is beyond my skill set so she has this chart called my beekeeper and you can see it's a purse by it's finally finished look at the stitching she did on this it is silk it is so soft and this was supposed to be a little purse um, everything's in here not my skill set and I, I feel like I actually feel like possibly just taking this back to my store and having them frame the, the little square thing here look look how cute it would just look in here and then I would think of her when uh, when I walked into the room wonderful wonderful lady um, and the new the new wife how wonderful not to just throw that stuff away and instead reached out to the community that loved Cece. So um, I feel honored that I was able to get a couple of her things and share. Um, they sent home a couple pieces of fabric that were in there and some flosses. Um, and I've talked about that on here before that when I reach in and I have to, and I'm grab my mom's floss or my mom's fabric, it brings me um, happiness. So um, Cece lives on, <laughs> Cece lives on. So. As far as my plans for this week, figure out cinnamon stars, um, organize this room some more. I'm wanting to dive into my flosses and, and do some um, more organizing there. And I'm sure I will be prepping my living room floor. So that's that. This ended up being a little bit longer than I thought, probably because of my love of be stitch me and going on about that but it is what it is so um all right i'm gonna get off of here and leave you be for the day so i'm gonna tell you keep stitching enjoy life and i am sending you so much love bye